Hey guys, so I have here the Neo, that's the portable Bluetooth speaker by Harman Kardon and we're going to have a look inside of this small portable speaker so uh, let's just get right into it and the first thing we have to do to open up the speaker is we have to remove some of these little uh, rubber pads here on the bottom see here this is really easy, I'm just actually using here my little pocket knife and I'm prying this out there's just some adhesive tape that keeps those in place and right underneath there we're going to find a small Phillips screw that we have to remove. So we do this for these three holes here. And the fourth one we don't have to remove because there's actually no screw underneath there. Okay, so next I'm going to again use my little pocket knife here to pry open the sides here. And I'm just working my way all the way around. And uh, you can't really completely detach it at this point because there's some adhesive tape right in the center here of the uh, back plate and that keeps us in place so uh, you have to work and wiggle and pull a little bit until you can finally completely detach the backing see this here let's see the adhesive tape now we see a whole bunch of other screws and for now we just remove the four screws that are in the uh, corners And afterwards we still have the uh, tab here that's the fabric tab on the top uh, there's two screws holding that in and when you remove those screws and make sure you don't lose here this little plastic piece and we can just easily pull the fabric part out here okay so now we can just uh, kind of pry out the core of the speaker see this is how that works you can already see here the the driver and the passive radiator and this core is actually what is waterproof so uh, as long as you don't open this up you don't have to be afraid of not having you know, your speaker waterproof anymore okay, you should, on the sides you can see the uh, buttons and then the charging port and the auxiliary port okay and then here on the top cover, we find uh, these the buttons here. These just came out, so they were not fastened in any way. They were just stuck in the sides, and they just hold themselves in place while the uh, core of the speaker is still installed. Okay, so now we're going to open up the rest of the speaker, and now it's time to remove the eight remaining screws here. Okay, so then. Now in order to take the cover here off, I'm just going to pry this open. There's some sealant in there that uh, makes it a little bit difficult to open up, but it's really not that hard in the end. So now before we completely remove the cover, we have to make sure to detach a couple of wires here. First of all, there's here the uh, cables, cables that go to the battery. Uh, there's some uh, glue, hot glue on the connector so that it doesn't detach by itself. So I'm going to cut that loose and then eventually I can just pull it out. And there's a second connector here that holds the uh, Bluetooth antenna in place. You just really easily pop that off. Okay, so now in the lid that we just removed, that's where we find the battery. Let me give you a really close up. So you see here 1000 milliamp hours but 3.7 volts. And then here we have a really nice close-up of the PCB. So a lot of people are interested in looking at the components. So uh, here I give you a really nice close-up. Okay, so six screws later, now I can remove the PCB, take it out of the housing. And we can take a look at the back, and there is really not a whole lot going on here as you see this. Really, just one component on there, and that's on the very top, you see here the uh, LED, the status LED for the speaker. Okay, so then the uh, rest of the housing here, you see this one wire that goes here to the microphone. Then we have here the driver, of course. 
think it's a 40 millimeter driver. I'm not going to remove that since it's just going to be glued in place with a couple of screws. And then here the passive radiator right across from it. And then here on the bottom, that's where we have the charging port and the auxiliary port. A couple of wires with our connectors. There's actually another connector right where it goes and just the portion of the port. And you can see this is a separate sealed off component uh, with uh, two more screws here. So to make sure that this stays waterproof. See here, this is the uh, outside. So I'm not going to open that since I don't want to risk breaking the seal this year. And here we have the openings for the buttons. So uh, you see there's some uh, silicone pads on there, glued on there, so that you can actually actuate the buttons. Okay, opposite side, it's the same thing for the three buttons, the volume and the play pause button. Yeah, and though this is already it here, the teardown video looking inside of the Harman Kardon Neo. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and if you have any more questions or comments write a message below.